Hi everyone, I just wanted to pop on real quick and let you know what I've been doing. I haven't uh, created a video in quite some time since before Thanksgiving, but man, we had a very busy holiday season, fourth quarter at Ackett's Handmade Pie Company. I wanna just thank you so much. You, our customers, our guests, who came in during Thanksgiving and supported our business, and then again, in December with all of the holidays that fall in December this year, Hanukkah and Christmas and Kwanzaa. So I have a lot of friends that celebrate a lot of different holidays. So happy holidays to all of y'all. And now we're in the new year. So I wanna wish you all a very happy new year. It's been crazy here. <laughs> Ugh, real crazy. But anyway, I wanted to thank you so much for your support. We had a phenomenal holiday season at Ackett's Pie Company. Uh, we do not take it for granted with so many of our other uh, fellow businesses um, struggling right now. So many restaurants and, and caterers. And so we appreciate so much your business and it's just a uh, we wanted to shout out and just thank you so much especially during the tough time of having to wait in line perhaps outside our store because we only had six people in the lobby at a time also i wanted to shout out to our team members and our managers man they've come up with some uh, really great ideas on how to handle covid holiday season at ackett's pie company um, in the Beverly Hills store on uh, 13 and Southfield Road. We actually rented another uh, storefront just a couple doors down from our pie shop and it was vacant. So uh, we went over there and um, took over that spot just for pies that were prepaid and pre-ordered. Uh, and that was just our, our holiday pickup store front. So, hey, that worked out really great. And that just really helped reduce the long line there. In our Chesterfield shop there on 26 and, and Gratiot, where our bakehouse is also located, we decided to do an outside pickup. We put up a tent and uh, had the cars just drive up and you know our team members just ran back and forth um, in and out of the building all day stacking up the pies outside there. So there's a lot of things that you can do if you have a business, you know, to keep going. I want to tell you, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to the new year to produce more videos um, with my ideas on how to help restaurants especially um, and how to thrive in the COVID times where we're still um, somewhat quarantining here in Michigan. We were able to come up with a specialty item and sell it to the grocery stores. And I'm gonna walk you through on how to do that if you have a restaurant or if you wanna start a business out of your home or basement or garage or whatever, uh, you make an item because you know what? Guys, the grocery stores right now really need a lot of help providing items on their shelves for their customers, right? We're all going to the grocery store. So I can walk you through step by step. I'm looking forward to talking more about that. So a big shout out to all of our employees, all of our team members. Man, they work so hard during the holidays. Now here it is January 10th. We've had a little bit of a rest and recuperation. And now we're going into another big holiday and it's one of our biggest holidays of the year. We've been posting about it on our Facebook page if you um, follow us on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. Um, and it is National Pie Day. And somebody commented and said, hey, I thought Pie Day was March 14th, right? 314? Well, yeah, we celebrate pie then as well. So I don't know, usually for 314, we, we mark our pies down like $3.14 or we do a special on slices or something. But in January, one, two, three, January 23rd, um, every year we celebrate National Pie Day. It's, it's for real, you know, just like there's a National Ice Cream Day and a National Chocolate Chip Cookie Day, National Hamburger Day, you know? So we have National Pie Day and it's in January every year. So it really helps to give a boost to pie makers out there. We can have another celebration and another little festivity in our stores. Before I go further, I wanna tell you it's not on the 23rd because the 23rd falls on Saturday. And if you're a customer, you know that we're closed every Saturday. So we're gonna have it a day early on the 22nd. So January uh, 22nd, Friday, our Michigan four berry pie and our chicken pot pies will be about six bucks off. So that's even better yet than 
314 so uh, they'll be uh, 12 bucks come on in if you want to pre-order those ahead of time um, to make sure that we don't run out that'd be great you can go to our website and pre-order your pies there and uh, we hope to see you in our stores on january 22nd celebrating national pie day guys again I am so thankful for our customers and for our team members. Um, love to hear your thoughts, your comments below. I'm gonna do an update on my great Pyrenees here pretty soon. He's eight months old and he is a giant breed. He's a livestock guardian dog. And uh, here he is at about 115 pounds already, I bet. I've gotta go take him into the vet for his monthly weight check and heartworm pill. So, all right, I'm gonna, um, do a video on my little Mr. Odin here and show you how he's doing too. So that'll be fun. So stay with me, hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up if you like this, and please share the information with a friend. I'm sure they would like a $12 Michigan four berry pie coming up here in January. All right, you guys signing off. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.